Well, what we have here is a mess. A girl owned it. And her and her dad were going to do something with it. And then they decided that they were going to sell it. So they didn't know a whole lot about it. But now they want to get it running. So they don't know if a solid lift cam is in it or if a hydraulic cam is in it. They don't know. So another mess with issues. That's what we have a lot of around here. There's no flash around here. It's all issues. Anyway, we're going to try to get into this and figure out first if we've got any damage to the valve train at all. And then, of course, the cam situation. And then, who knows? On and on we go. Well, this is a weird problem. The carburetor is getting fuel from the pump. That's all good. Bowls are full. It won't give any to the to the car, to the to the motor. The accelerator pump's not working. It's not shooting through the nozzles. It's not getting wet. Put in Berryman's B12. Great product. Fires up on it. As soon as it's over, stops. So that's what we're doing today. Trying to figure out what we got going. I don't understand it either because this is a brand new carburetor. It doesn't have 100 miles on it. It's sat though. From according to what the guy tells me. So whatever. But I wanted to bring your attention to these All Star. They're made by All Star. They're spacers between the air cleaner and the uh, carburetor. You see that O ring right there? Right here. Really nice. That thing just fits perfect. It seals that up. There's no leak. They make them in one inch, two inch, probably bigger than that. I got a two inch on, on one of my cars. And I got another one on order because I keep them in stock. But they're made by All Star. And they're aluminum. Now there's one thing you got to do. If you look right here. <clears throat> right here it doesn't fit over the back overflow tube on the carburetor it doesn't it you know I don't know what it's made for specifically but you just take a little grinder like I've done uh, I had them I thought I was gonna have problems there where those two black lines are too but I didn't so just a little scrape I actually took more missed a couple times too than it really needs but um, you just, uh, and you don't even have to go all the way to the top, like, you don't have to go from the very bottom to the very top. You could come up, probably get away with half. So I'm experimenting with it to see how they work, but I got them both to work and they work fine. And that air cleaner, uh, the bottom piece of the air cleaner, it goes right around there and it seals around the outside of this ring, the sew ring. I just think they're cool. Um, so now word of caution if you've got hood clearance problems this is not probably what you want to go but if you can get in there and you don't have hood clearance problems uh, you know you can raise that carb the uh, air cleaner up away from the linkage and stuff you know because it, it kind of drapes down and you can see there's all kinds of stuff here so you don't want it hitting that but uh, other than that that's our problem today figure out just what in the heck is going on
sitting in the carburetor too long. Kind of turn varnish, she plugged some holes. Uh, got that fixed. Guess what? Voila.